Welcome back, Super Radio Brother Highlights Astronomy Vlog Edition. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm making this video because I went through this dilemma when I was thinking about buying a Dobsonian telescope. It is a 12 inch Dobsonian too big? You go through that struggle, should I get an eight? Should I get a 10? We all know aperture is king, and the king is the 12 inch Dobsonian telescope, unless you're gonna go really crazy and start getting into 20 inch Dobbs and all that, but the 12 is really the first large telescope. But is the 12 inch Dobsonian too big for you? I'm making this video because there's not a lot of resources out there to demonstrate how large this telescope actually is and if it's the right telescope for you. So that's why I'm here for you. I just wanted you to get the, the scale of it, the optical tube itself about 57 inches long. I'm five foot eight, just to give you an idea of uh, how tall I am compared to this. Um, the weight of the optical tube is near 50 pounds. And the weight of the Dobsonian base, about uh, close to 30 pounds itself. So you're getting close to 90 pounds fully assembled here. All right, now you take a look at that. How am I gonna move that? That's something that you gotta think about if you want to get a 12 inch Dobsonian. Just as a reminder, I'm, I went from this to this, okay? So uh, I wanted to demonstrate for you how I move this large telescope and if it's right for you. Remember, this optical tube here, 50 pounds, okay? Can you easily move that? I, uh, I don't think anybody can easily move it, but the, the, unless you're the rock or something or Jason Momoa, Aquaman. Is he into astronomy? I think he's more into uh, uh, sea life, uh, something like that, right? He talks to fishes, or they said something weird in the last Suicide Squad movie, if you know what I'm talking about. But, but anyway, here you go. So that's how large it is, 12 inch Dobsonian. I'm 5'8", about right there. Will you be able to move it? You gotta get these straps here, okay? Get these straps, makes it very, very uh, uh, manageable for me. A lot of people put it on a dolly or a, uh, a hand truck or something like that. I'm just gonna lift it. So I wanna demonstrate for you now how I move this 12 inch Dobsonian. And I'm really hoping that this video is gonna help you make a decision on what size you're gonna get. So here we go here. I'm gonna lift it for you to see how much of a struggle it is for me and, and uh, how I'm gonna move this here. So here we go. Let's see if I'm successful here, hopefully. Uh, I can handle it. So you get these straps here. And I, what I generally do is move it to my backyard. So I'm gonna move the optical tube first. Now I have a blanket set up so I can lay it down back there. So here we go. That's it. That's your 12 inch Dobsonian, 50 pounds right there. And I'm just gonna move it to the backyard. Here we go. Not so hard, huh? <laughs> might be for you though. It, it might not be the right move for you, huh? Take a look at the scope of that. 12 inch Dobsonian, carry it all the way to the backyard, 50 pounds. Can you do that? You really gotta think about that. Now what I'll do is I'm gonna go back and get the base, set the base up where I want to view tonight and then put the optical tube on the base. The disastrous closing gate. I do. That was so close. So close. So that's the Dobsonian base, close to 40 pounds. So the tube, close to 50 pounds. The base, close to 40 pounds. So 90 pounds altogether there. So now I have this set up here. And I'll have to lift this huge tube up again. And set it up there here we go and there you have it I am ready to stargaze tonight and that's how I do it that's how I move the 12 inch Dobsonian telescope into my backyard 
Again, there you go. 57 inches long, about 50 pounds on the tube, about 40 pounds at the base, 90 pounds in total. Is that too much for you? It might be, look at the size of this thing. And there you go. Thank you so much for checking out my vlog on astronomy and my 12 inch Dobsonian. Is it the right telescope for you? If you don't think you can handle that, the tens and eights are great too. Like this channel and subscribe to us and watch all of our podcasts and everything because we love you.